What's going on guys, Ayo Rich here and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a while, it's literally been a long time since I uploaded anything Tekken 7 related. Been slacking, we've been on the grind, we've been TGO many times, we've been demoted many times, we've run the same cycle. But this is a different video, we're not live on Twitch, you know, just recording a video. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see how it goes basically. I'm gonna experiment with a few things, probably not gonna do a long set, this is gonna be a short video. But I just wanted to look at a few moves and kind of see how best to utilize them and obviously talk about um, well, give like a live comment commentary while I'm playing which is you know, something I, I rarely do so hopefully we can find the game I don't know if you lot have seen the videos of me like trying to test this game without being live and just never finding a match so yeah we thank as a streamer we thank the snipers Thank the people that snipe. Because without them, I'm telling you this this game is a ghost town. Especially if taking it on the horizon, everyone's just everyone is just waiting for that game. They kind of said goodbye to Tekken 7. Not goodbye, but like same energy just isn't there. Who have we run into? Who have we run into? Who will be the first victim or who is going to slap man up? Buffalo Soldier. Okay. Tay actually. Alright, this is interesting because let's say for instance a move like down two, he actually has a good option against it, so it'll be pretty hard to utilize against this character. So why not want to opt for that? But maybe down one might be a good uh, good change. Because the situation on block is like there's a lot more I can do. But while sending two beats way too many of my options, so yeah, it's pretty dangerous to use. But yeah, this is a very defensive player, so we'll see we'll see just how much of down two he can take before pressing basically. As you can see he got a bit antsy. Yeah, there it is. One thing that you don't need to know against Heachi is that when he does uh forward four, we have uh while standing one that beats it beats two of his most common options, being down forward one one uh and one one. So, definitely something to think about. Okay. Very patient. We're still going to use down two, though. We're still going to use down two. two. Fight. Down two and down four, two plus three, I think. I think those are the two moves that you need to figure out how to use in order to pre prevail event uh, offensively. Okay, we got down two count here, nice. As you can see, down two has a lot of range. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we're gonna use Waston in one next time. Okay, electric maybe? Yeah, I think we tried to do an electric. Okay, there we go, down two into down two. Managed to track the Waston into two actually, which is pretty crazy. I didn't expect that. Okay, down for two now. Sorry, down for two plus three. There you go. Minus 12. Not too much risk. Unreactable low. Very strong. Down two, down hit again. Okay, now we check. Now we check. Nice. Moving more. Okay. We have more options for that now. Also than one. There we go. It's fine. Okay. Round four. Fight. Nice. 
Yeah, I mean, when he actually has rage, obviously you have to be careful, naturally. Fight. But yeah, we keep the down to pressure going. You see, it's forcing him to make mistakes now, as you can see. Down for two now. You see? You see? Yep, another mistake. Okay, nice. Oh my god, he had me. There we go. Down to putting in work there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm too definitely putting in work there. It's not one of those moves that, like, you can always play into the plus frames. I think playing into the plus frames is, like, it's, it's a bit of an issue because, let's say you're not doing down forward two, and you do, like, down forward one, down forward four, stuff like that, down four, you know, it's, it's riskier than it seems. Because if you do down two into down four and you get, like, low parried or something like that, Round one. could potentially a lot of damage for like, a, low, a low reward situation, so... Just doing down two and then just changing your timing with it, with it. Mostly just getting your opponent to block it is, is the is the goal that you want to have. Okay, now he's just using fast pokes to try and stop you from getting anything started. So I can do like some key part maybe. Let's see how he deals with it. Four. Down two, down four, three. Nice. The okay, next forward four, we do it again. Run up, down four, two plus three. Oh, no, no, no point. It's just jab. That situation you just want to kind of keep him away so jab being the fastest thing on recovery and the best situation on block okay just chill it's fine okay nice Big mistake from me there, randomly going into Bok for no reason. Right, down two. Fine. Down two again. Yep, calm. That's fine. Okay. Make sure you get your punishes in on FF2. Ah, okay. And that is why you have to get your punishes in because you don't want that happening to you. Still managed to take the round though. Round three. Fight. Okay, boss pokes. Let's see. Very low, electric, that's fine. Just chill. Don't need to do too much. He has the life lead. I like a hit. Single jab. Down two. That's fine. Trying to hit button in case he does wake up while sending two. You want to make sure you, you do it immediately because you don't want to get counter hit by while sending two as well. That is not that is not what you want. Running three, just plus frames. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, yep. Oh my god. I don't know how I didn't get counter hit. So yeah, me being someone very experienced in the matchup, obviously I know what I'm looking out for. for Heiachi's the battle, battle. pokes are they're strong, but I mean, if, if you're not behind, if you don't have your back to the wall, it's not really too much of an issue. So you want to kind of play around that and just kind of keep yourself away from the wall. You have obviously just sidewalk left, side, sidewalk right is okay sometimes, but mostly just, I guess, side sidewalk left. You don't want to just get hit by 1-1. One, one. 
And then obviously if they're doing forward four pressure, you can play into the Watson in one uh yeah, the Watson in one mind game as well. Being two important moves that he actually has. Okay, electric. So you see Watson in one? Okay. Watson in one? Again. You're seeing it right right before your eyes, you're seeing it. Okay, now we chill. Uh, Riskiest thing there would have been to eat a full crouch down for four, which isn't that isn't that deep. Get okay, generic low, move. You see, just move. Yeah, KO. gets the job done. It gets the job done. Round two, fight. Down two. Down two. Down two. Down two. Punish. Two full crouch load, no. Okay, that was a, a bit too a bit too many down for twos. Electric incoming probably. Okay, this is how you have to play against it actually. Three. Fight. Punish. Nice. Maybe a whole sweeping coming. Just kind of slowing down with fast pokes. Nice. Oh sweet. Ah, okay. Nice. KO. Round four. Fight. Down twos again. Down hit. Down hit again. Passing the four? No. Okay. Okay. Just patience now. Um, L sweep is probably incognito. Great timing. Right. We don't look for L sweep now. Down one. Wow, he had it. Patience. You said one. Okay. So as you can see, down two is a strong move, of course it is. Um, we'll call it there. Obviously, we've got the, the motion on the side of my opponent. But uh, yeah, down two, you can see why it's so, such an effective move because as soon as someone gets put in a minor situation, they're forced to react in a certain way. So as you saw that one time he sidestepped, I called him out with a down four two. Other times he did while standing one because of maybe frustration. And then also full crouch slow to kind of um, catch me off guard. So it's a good mind game because the risk reward isn't that bad. But for instance, if I was playing against Anna Williams and I'm always putting her in crouch and stuff, you know, it would have to be a situation where I have to take my frames more often because I don't want to get full crouch sweeped into a full combo and then, you know, my back's at the wall and, you know, it's just, it's a bit matchup dependent. But against some characters, when you can kind of force them to make mistakes with like while sending two and stuff like that, and just do like a single back dash, make it with, you know, those are the more preferable situations to be in. I hope this has given you an insight on how you can utilize down two more. And also, um, down four, two plus three is obviously a godlike tool as well, you know, if you want to kind of mix it up. And then, other than that, if you're getting sidewalked and, you know, if people are interrupting you, you just have to match them and kind of slow them down with your quick pokes as well. So yeah, this has been the video, I hope you enjoy it and look forward to the next one.